Hi, Alvin DeLeon here, and you are watching episode 46 of the 3 Minute Health Tip. In this episode, I'm going to talk about asthma. Clinically, we're dealing with what's known as a, a bronchospasm or a, a spasm of the bronchial musculature, and it often leads to a difficulty breathing, maybe coughing fits, and a lot of times it's due to what's known as hypersensitivities to allergies or things in the environment. But as you all know, if you've been watching this now, we're gonna look at asthma from the knowledge of the five biological laws and Dr. Hammer's research on GNM. Uh, those of you that are watching this as your first video, please refer back to episode one, two, and three in order for you to really catch up to uh, speed with what we're talking about regarding this new health perspective known as GNM and why when we look at any health condition or symptom we're looking at the person's psyche their emotional conflict shocks the brain and the organs that are affected when it comes to asthma there's a little bit more to it than just a simple explanation but as always in order to keep things within these three to five minutes that we have here I'm gonna simplify it even further and so when we're looking at asthma we're dealing with the potentially the bronchial musculature. It could also be even the laryngeal musculature. We're looking at the cerebral cortex as the control center of the brain and the conflict shock that often leads to asthma symptoms as what's known as a scare fright or territorial fear conflict. A scare fright or territorial fear conflict affects the part of the brain that controls the bronchial musculature or the laryngeal musculature leading to asthma-like symptoms difficulty breathing, wheezing, coughing fits. We get many cases of this where we get to see that people's asthma develops around the time that there's something unexpected going on in their lives that they perceive as a fear or a scare. You know, we had the one case of a woman that uh, had asthma symptoms, coughing fits, and she was told it was because of an allergy to rats, or rats, to cats. <laughs> and uh, it was around the time that she first had her twin children, her twin babies, and they had a, but she grew up with a cat in the house, so she didn't understand how she could all of a sudden be having these asthma symptoms related to the cats. But it was around that time when I asked her, uh, what was going on around the time that your children, your twin babies were first born that could have scared you? And as she recalled, she remembered that there was actually an incident when they were about six or seven months old where she felt that they turned blue, where she ended up having to call 911, uh, an emergency uh, um, ambulance had to come in, take them to the hospital. Everything ended up being okay, but because of that shock or that fear of her babies potentially having a serious health condition that triggered the asthma symptoms for her and her body associated it with the cat that happened to be in the house and that's what she was told all these years until she was able to make that connection and as always that awareness helps to allow her to really relax and that remind herself that her children now in their 20s are healthy and safe and that there's no need to be scared anymore in her territory leading to her asthma relief. Uh, we also get to see it with a lot of three or four year old children. A lot of times when they get these asthmatic symptoms, we're not looking for what's going on in the environment that potentially is scaring them. And once we start to identify it, it actually creates a relief when you can help them to avoid the things that scare them, or you can explain it in a way. We had a great case of a, a family where their four-year-old son, I believe, would have these asthma-like symptoms every time they're in the van. And they were able to pinpoint that it only happened when they were leaving at night. And so he, he, when we asked him what his fear was, he was scared of being in the car at night, driving at night. So they solved the issue by giving him a flashlight uh, in the car. And so that actually alleviated some of his asthma symptoms. He was no longer getting them whenever they were coming home at night in the car. I know it sounds uh, simplified, but I ask all of you that are watching, if you're dealing with asthma symptoms or chronic symptoms of coughing fits and breathing difficulties, I ask you to look back to where or when it was that it first started and what was going on in your life at that time unexpectedly that was a fear or a scare. And hopefully that connection and awareness can take you one step closer to finally getting relief from your asthma symptoms. As always, to learn more about GNM, I ask you all to visit 
www.learninggnm.com. Learninggnm.com has all the information that you need. I want to thank you for your attention, and I look forward to seeing you at the next episode.